everyone, it's Miss Jen at the Community Arts Center, and because I'm going live, my cat, Art Kitty, is here with me, because that's what she does. She ignores me all the time until I have a live camera on, and then she comes to see me. Maybe I should be live all the time, and then my cat that doesn't like people would love me. That's the way it goes. So hi everyone, it's Miss Jen at the Community Arts Center, and we're going to get started with preschool painting in just a little bit. So I'm going to take about five minutes and let people get signed on and then um, get the computer going so I can see who's here. Um, oh, hey, I see Carol is here and Jody, and I can't see who the third person is. EJ! Hey, it's the Churchy Kids. Glad you guys are here with us again this morning. I'll be back with you in just a second. I'm gonna turn and get my computer going. Jen going live. Where's that at? I might have been messaging on Facebook for just a minute. Oh, Evie is not here today, Evie Churchy. It's Wolverine that's here today. He says that he wants me to know that. So, <sighs> glad Wolverine's here today. Hey, Churchy kids, <gasps> be working on your blowing because we're going to be blowing some things today. computer is being slow today. So it's taken it's it's taken me a while to find where we're live. Scrolling down. Here we are. Oh, I just saw myself go like this. Whatever. All right. And Art Kitty is still wandering around <laughs> every time. I'm telling you, I can be down here in my studio working for hours and she doesn't come. But I go live on Facebook, boom, she shows up every time. How does she know that? How does she? How does that work? Uh, I don't know. All right. Hey, Evie, should I wear my red glasses today or my brown glasses? Which should I wear? When I taught preschool, the girls used to, if they got a certain number of points, they could choose what color fingernail polish I would wear. That was when I got my nails done and I cared about things like that. Mm, not so much. Um, so I figure the kids that are watching can choose which glasses I put on, but decide quick because I need to put some glasses on. All right. What time is it? Two more minutes, two more minutes and we'll get started. This class today is all about painting. Okay. Evie says I should wear the red glasses. I like the red glasses better than the brown glasses. The description isn't quite right, and so if I wear them very long, I get a headache. But, oh, I mean, Wolverine, I have the red glasses on. I have been suitably corrected. Um, <laughs> oh, kids are fun. Okay, 
It is so nice that we finally are entering into summer. Yesterday, my house was very warm and I was very happy. And the men folk at my house were not very happy, but boy, I got a lot done. So I'm going to take my jacket off today because it's nice and warm in here. My studio in the basement is usually very chilly and I always have a jacket on, but now it's nice and warm. All right. So it is now 11.05 and... I'm ready to get rolling, so let me get my list of things we're doing today. We are going to blow paint with a straw. We are going to make some fizzy paint. We're going to play with some cornstarch, which I did not have on the supply list, so it's just going to be me having fun and you guys get to watch. Um, but. If any parents are out there and want to grab some cornstarch, some food coloring, and some water, then go for it. This is easy, very interesting, tactile fun. Um, then we're going to do some leaf stencils. Then we're going to use the paper that we did in the blow paint and the fizzy paint and create some shapes to hang on the wall. And that'll be fun because... It, it's one thing to have fun with colors, but then when you can use it to decorate and make your space be what you like, it's even better. Even better. Okay, so the first thing, oh, and we're going to sing a song too because Miss Jen has to sing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is blow paint. And here's what you're going to need. Paint. And you can use any kind of paint. This works with watercolor. It works with craft paint. It works with finger painting. Now with the uh, finger painting paint and the craft paint, we're going to have to uh, dilute it down with water a little bit so it'll move and we don't blow our eyeballs out trying to make the paint move using a straw. And some heavy paper. This is watercolor paper. Cardstock will work okay. Anytime you're using paint that's wet, watercolor paper always works best. But I know not everybody has an art studio where they have watercolor paper hanging out. I do. Um, okay, so I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see what we're doing. And because I don't have someone to run camera for me, we are doing forward-facing camera, so everything's a little backwards. And when I show you things that have words on them, the words are going to be backwards. And, oh, my stomach is growling. Maybe I should eat some breakfast. All right, so let me move my paper out of the way. I'm going to, I have these little bitty cups. And I'm going to put some paint in it. This doesn't take a whole lot of paint, so I'm just putting a teeny tiny little bit of paint in. Because we can always add more, more paint. I just tried to unscrew this, and look! The whole top broke off. That's weird. Ugh. This paint is old. Oh, let's see. Let me use a paintbrush to get this out. Oh, yeah, that paint is dried out. I'll bet you I had a crack in that bottle and didn't realize it. And now the paint is mostly dry. I'm going to have to figure out a painting where I can use. This is shiny red. All right. Now I'm going to put some blue paint in. Now, in other classes, we've talked about the color wheel. And red, blue, and yellow are primary colors. They're the number one colors. And if we mix yellow and blue, we get green. If we mix blue and red, we get purple. And if we mix 
red and yellow, we get orange. So we're using primary colors today. All right, now I need to put some water in these, and I've got some water right over here. It's not the cleanest water. Good thing that I'm not going to be drinking that. And I'm just going to put a couple drops in. Oh, that was a little more than a couple drops. This is going to be really movie paint. But that's okay. Because it'll be more fun if it moves a lot. All right, now I'm just going to stir this up. Oh, mix and stir and stir and mix and mix and stir. Oh, that's too runny. I'm going to have to add some more paint to the blue. Now, when we're done painting this, you're going to want to set it aside because at the very end of the class, if it's dry, we are going to use this to practice our scissor skills and make something fun. The yellow's a little too runny, too. All right. Do you guys like my stir stick? Last week, I grabbed what I thought was a little stir stick, and it was a fingernail file. This week... Mm -hmm. It's a glue stick. You, you do what you got to do. Okay, I'm going to set these paints over out of the way just a little bit. And I have this little glass bead because I want to show you guys how hard you're going to have to blow. Because you have to really blow hard. We're going to compare. So I have a pom-pom and when I blow it, whoo, it moves right. It, it moves right away, and it's really, really goes fast. I'm barely blowing. What happens when I try to blow this glass bead? It doesn't move at all. I'm going to have to blow really hard. Did you hear that? That's the kind of sound you're going to have to make to get this paint to move. So I'm going to make a little puddle of paint. Let's see. I think I'm going to move it right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of red right in it. When we put red and yellow together, it makes orange. All right. Are you ready? What's going to happen? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. All right, I'm going to come and blow this way now. It looks cool. Look at that. Now I'm going to blow this way. And it works really good if you move the paper around so you don't have to walk around your paper. It's just easier to move it. All right, now... I'm going to put some blue over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, my friend Kate is watching too. And my friend Jody mm -hmm. says that she agrees with the red glasses. All right. Are you ready for me to blow? If you guys are doing it, use big blows. <gasps> Oh, look. I got blue all over my paper, but it made green. Because blue and yellow makes green. Woo! I can barely breathe. I'm going to need some more water in this red. That blue I got after it was too runny. Then I got it too stiff and it doesn't want to blow out very much. All right. Now I'm going to put some red over here. Oh, it's bleeding right into that yellow. And 
And do you see how I'm moving the straw as I blow? That makes the paint go different directions. Oh, I like that. I'm going to put some red over here by this blue. Let's see what happens when I get it into the blue. Oh, I got purple. Woo! Miss Jen's going to have to take a break. I don't know about you guys. Woo! I'm feeling a little lightheaded from blowing all the time. That looks really cool. I like that a lot. I'm going to put some red over here. I would show you, but I'm pretty embarrassed. I just blew red onto my color wheel. Whoop! <laughs> and I just knocked you guys over. Let's see, where do I need to be? I got red. I now have two pairs of red glasses. Because I got red and blue all over my glasses, on my coffee cup. My goodness, I'm making a mess. But this is fun. All right. This is going to be really cool. So, <clears throat> you can do whew, all you want on this. And I'm going to take this and sit it over here with, where my handy-dandy space heater is and get that to dry. All right. Now, I'm going to have to clean up. So, I'm taking my rag, put my paintbrush in my water. And I'm going to real quick clean off my fancy artwork over here that I just got red paint all over. So when we get paint on things, if you clean it up right away, you can save it. If you don't clean it up right away, then you can ruin things. So cleaning up is very important. All right. Now have more paint to put away. Guys, I have to tell you, Miss Jen's thirsty, so I'm going to drink some grapefruit bubbly water real quick. Whee! Mmm. There we go. All right. Let me clean off my workspace put my straw away all right what do we do next oh, next we're gonna do fizzy paints this is really a science experiment and art oh hi renee i'm glad gino and lucas are here that makes me happy okay so for this we're gonna need watercolor paper again or cardstock if you don't have watercolor paper we're gonna need vinegar if you have the clear vinegar then <laughs> wait just a second <laughs> so the the churchy kids are giving me messages that's kind of funny um <laughs> They're not spellers yet, but they're typing messages to me. Okay, if you have the clear vinegar, that works better because this um, makes the colors kind of weird colors to use the apple cider vinegar. But that's what I had, so that's what I'm using. So, vinegar. Guess what is going to be used to make it fizzy? <gasps> baking soda. Because when you mix baking soda and vinegar together it makes really fizzy stuff and we're going to use watercolor paints now miss jen has watercolor in tubes but if you have it in the set that has a little bit you can still do this so 
Let me bring you down to my workspace and you can see what we're doing next. All right. Okay, so if you have watercolor in a set, this is, it's kind of like this. Let's see, I'm just going to put some red in here. And I'll show you how I made my other. So, you get some water, and you watch Miss Jen's flabby arm flop around. And you put water, let's see. You put water in your tray and you get it nice and wet because the paints dry when you first start working with it. And then once it's wet, you take your paintbrush and your container and you get you get that dark dark color in there. Then, with as little water as possible, because we want the vinegar to be the liquid. Let's see. Then you're going to pour vinegar in with your paint. And then mix it up. Ooh, vinegar stinky. All right. And that's how we mix up our paint. With vinegar and a little bit of water and watercolor. Now, I'm going to set this over to the side. Let that dry later. All right. Now I have red paint that's vinegary and I have some orange vinegar paint, some yellow vinegar paint, and some blue vinegar paint. And I put these in little squirt bottles. But if you don't have little squirt bottles, you can just pour it out of whatever container that you have. If you have eyedroppers, like from when your mommy or your daddy gives you medicine, then um, that you could use that to squirt out too. So, we're going to take our vinegar paint and paint with it. You guys aren't down quite far enough yet. There we go. I'm just going to squirt the paint out and pour some paint and squirt some paint and whoops, mm, that lid did not want to come off. I had to use Wolverine size force to get it to come off. I think I need more red paint over here. Is our paint fizzy? It's not fizzy. Let's see. I'm going to use my paintbrush and just kind of spread this out a little bit. Oh boy, it smells like vinegar in my studio today. All right, now we need a reactant. So a reactant is something in science that makes stuff happen. I know some of you guys are good at making stuff happen. So I'm taking baking soda and I am going to 
sprinkle the baking soda onto my paint. Can you hear that? It's so fizzy. When you mix baking soda and vinegar, it talks back to you. It makes all kinds of cool fizzy noises. Oh dear, do you see what's happening over here? It's running off my paper. All right. So that painting is done for now. I'm going to very carefully put this down where it can dry. I don't know if this will be dry in time for us to finish up, but this is one of the funnest ways to paint that I know. So first we got to use a straw and blow paint, and then we got to squirt paint on and watch it fizz. What else could we do that could be fun? Let's see, I'm just gonna kinda get some of this blotted off the edges. Oh, wait till you see how we finish this off. There we go. All right, down to the drying space. All right, now it's time to clean up again. I'm gonna wipe off my mat. It's about time for Miss Jen to get a new mat. All right, I'm gonna put my vinegar paint away. Put my vinegar away. Put my baking soda away. All right. Now. Now, you guys, we're going to do a song about the color wheel. I like the color wheel. But before we get started on that, I want to see who's here and who's saying what. Just a minute. All right. So, wheel. What song do we sing in preschool about wheels? How about the wheels on the bus? What if we sing about the colors on the wheel go round and round? Let's change the words to that song. See if you can sing along. The colors on the wheel go round and round, round and round, round and round. The colors on the wheel go round and round. All and we mix all day long. Red our primary, primary, primary. Red, blue, and yellow are primary, and we mix all day long. Blue and green are cool colors, cool colors, cool colors. Purple, blue, and green are cool colors, and we mix them all day long. Red, orange, yellow are warm colors, warm colors, warm colors. Red, orange, yellow are warm colors, and we mix them all day long. Did you know that colors are cool or warm? Think about when you go for a walk out in the woods and you see the blue sky and the green leaves and the green grass and, and the purple shadows and the purple flowers, those are things that make us think that the temperature is cool. Then if we look at red, orange, and yellow, what do you know that is red, orange, and yellow? Mm -hmm. There are flowers that are bright red. What about fire? Fire is red, orange, and yellow. 
it is warm, isn't it? So when you think about warm colors, you think about fire, and these are the colors of fire. So these are the cool colors, and these are the warm colors. And what are the primary colors? Blue, red, and yellow. Thanks for singing with me today. Now, I have something fun for us to do that is another science experiment just like our fizzy paint was. This one uses cornstarch and food coloring if you want to. If you don't want to put any food coloring in, you can still play with the cornstarch and a container. You might be surprised to know that there's cat hair in this container because Art Kitty likes to come and visit me and leaves her cat hair behind. Okay, so the last thing that we need is water. And I will probably need more water than this little bitty container. And this works better if you have clean water, but I don't, so I'm using paint water. All right, there's no recipe for this. You take cornstarch, which is fun to play with. Did you know cornstarch makes noise? Listen, can you hear that? It sounds like when you're walking in snow, doesn't it? Kind of squeaks a little bit. Oh, you need to see down here. Okay, now you can see what's going on. Now for parents, this is a non-Newtonian liquid or substance because when this gets mixed up, if you apply pressure, it becomes a solid. And when you release the pressure, it becomes a liquid. So it is so much fun to play with. It's um, obviously we cook with cornstarch and so um, it's safe. Um, it doesn't leave a big mess. It's, it's a little, you know, you gotta clean up the powder, but in the world of kids playing and science, this one is pretty easy. Oh, I've got a sponge sitting in here. There we go. All right. So, oh, I do love this. All right. Now we need to add some color to it so you guys can see it better. And... Since I'm the teacher, I'm going to make it blue because blue is my favorite color. Have your um, family put in, in the comments, what is your favorite color? All right, I'm going to mix this up. Oh, look how cool that is. Now, parents, you have to know if you add a lot of food coloring like I did, it will stain just because the food coloring is a stain. Oh, all right. Oh, that squeaky sound. I'm not liking that at all. A uh, plastic shoe box works really nice for this because then the kids can really get into it. Um, there we go should be doing this with my right hand so you guys can see better. Ah, it's stuck to my hands. All right. Wow, this doesn't want to mix. mix. This is really good to make your fingers stronger to mix this because it really doesn't want to mix a whole lot until you let go of it. All right, let's see if I can show you what this is. Okay, so when I squeeze on it, it's it looks dry. And then when I let go, it drips right 
through my fingers. But if I try to pick it back up, it becomes a solid again. So when I'm pressing on it, it's solid. When I let go, it's liquid. This is really fun, parents, for a kid's Halloween party because it's slimy without being slime. Um, it's pretty inexpensive to make up. It's easy. All it takes is cornstarch water. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Now for a little more finger skills. Oh, I'm getting this stuff all over. You can put, these are glass beads. And I'm letting them sink in there. And this looks solid, doesn't it? So when they try to reach in, there's resistance. So it's a good way to use fine motor skills. And you can tell them to only pinch with their middle finger. So it increases um, the strength of other fingers. Especially the ring fingers are usually the weakest finger. So taking the time to try and find things that are in the cornstarch and digging around causes it to become a solid so it's a little harder to pick up. So there's ways that you can work on things that your kids need to um, have developmentally that is just fun, um, but there's intentionality with it. All right. I'm back to the kids now. Oh, I could play with this stuff all day long. I love it. Oh, that was hard to pick up all those glass beads. But look, when I just let the stuff slide out of my fingers, there they are, right on top. Ooh, slide. Oh, all right. And cleanup for this, for the kids, is nothing more than running hands in water. And um, did Miss Jen think ahead to, like, have water here to wash my hands in? Psh, no. All right. I... I'm going to stop playing with this. If you guys want to keep playing in cornstarch and water, if you made some, that's fine. All right. Uh, let me get, ooh, my painting water. So all you have to do to clean your hands off, off, is dip it in the water. I didn't even rub my hands together. How many of you are being very careful to wash your hands a lot, a lot? I hope you are. Whenever big people say it's time to wash your hands, wash them good. Wash like this, then like this. Then put your fingers together and wash like that. And last, we got to make sure we get our thumbs clean. So we scrub our thumbs like that. And then you rinse them really, really good. All right. Now, I need to clean up this mess. The lid on the cornstarch. Put that away. Bye, cornstarch and water. <laughs> Look. I got cornstarch and water all over my jar. Eh, we better wipe that off. Oh, it went on the inside. No wonder why it wasn't coming off. I will clean that up after you guys go home. All right. Putting that away. Woo. 
I'll wipe this pad off again. It's getting pretty day, boys and girls. Wow. Okay. Now, let's see what we have to do next. Next, we're doing leaf stencils. Oh, this is so much fun. So I went outside today and I didn't put my shoes on. I went out into the woods barefoot. Okay, so for our leaves today, we need paint, a sponge. This one's just a little bitty sponge. Some tape, a container to put our paint in, and some leaves. I got a lot of different kinds of leaves. Hope none of them are poison ivy. Here's one leaf. And here's bigger ones that are shaped the same way. Look at this one. It looks like a heart. It's from a violet. Violets have purple flowers. Oh, here's another violet leaf. I like that they're hearts. This leaf is from a tulip tree. Don't know what this leaf is from. And this is a maple leaf. All right, let's go down to the desktop. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put some yellow paint in my tray. And some blue paint on my tray. Why am I using blue and yellow? Because blue and yellow makes green. All right. And we are going to paint this using a sponge. And that is why Miss Jen has a sponge in my water bucket. All right, because a wet sponge is soft and a dry sponge is hard. So we want to use a wet sponge because it's... All right. So I'm afraid my leaves are going to move. So I got some tape to tape them down with. You might need big people help for this because you take the tape and you stick it in a circle. See that? It's a circle now. And then you put it on the paper and you stick a leaf on it. And that's going to keep the leaf from moving. I'm going to do that a couple more times. And let's see. I like these violet leaves. So I'm going to, yikes. Well, my tape is too big for my leaf. I'll have to go that direction. All right, and another one. Now, if, if you think that you don't need to tape your leaves, you don't have to. But Miss Jen likes to have things stay in place. All right. Let's see. Okay. Now, we're not 
going to, when we paint, we're not going to go around and around and swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. We're going to do pat, 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 pat. So, we're going to take our sponge, tap it in the paint, and it's okay if the yellow and the green and the blue um, mush together. Oh, see, I didn't tape that down. So I'm just tapping around the leaf. And then when you take the leaf off, look, you have a leaf. All right. Tap, tap, tap into the paint and then tap around your leaves. This is a fun way to paint. Some of you big people that are watching, this reminds me of the 90s and sponge painting walls. Oh, I did that a lot. Let's see. I'm going to see what happens when I do a leaf over where this leaf was, what that looks like. That looks kind of fun. I like that. All right, just tapping. My leaf wanted to move. Oh, my puppy dog is upstairs whining because she wants to come down. Everybody in my house must be gone except for me. Because she doesn't whine like that unless I'm the only one home and I'm downstairs. She's a silly old dog and we love her. All right. I am ready to see what this painting looks like. I put my sponge in my water. I'm wiping off my hands with my rag. Now I'm gonna pull my leaves off. Oh, I like that. All right, now we'll pull this one off. Oh. There we go. Two hearts. Aw. And if you wanted to do this in the fall when all the leaves are coming off the trees while they're getting ready for winter, you could use the colors that leaves turn in the fall. What color do leaves turn in the fall? Some turn brown. Some leaves turn yellow and red. So, here. We made stencils using leaves. And I think they turned out really cool. If you guys did this project, post me a picture in the comments. I would like to see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm ready to go to the next project. I hope my paper is clean. All right. Going to wipe my, put my stuff away. Buy yellow and blue paint. Uh-oh. I dropped it on the floor. Thank goodness the lid was on that. By cool painting, it's going to go to the drying spot. Okay, now 
here's the blow painting and it's all dry and here's the fizzy painting and it's all dry so for the fizzy painting I'm gonna get some paper towel to make it easier to clean up and I'm going to move my paper and break up that baking soda that white powder and we're gonna take all of that off so that we can see the paint underneath it all right this is a painting palette and I'm just scraping that off but you could take this outside and rub it with your hands until it's all off but for the video I thought this would be a little easier Ooh, that wasn't quite dry up in that area. Look at all this cool color. I wonder if there's anything we could do with that. All right, to the trash can. Oh, hey. I think this turned out pretty cool. I like these colors. And you can see like where it was fizzy. It's kind of splotchy in places. I like that. Look how cool that looks right in there. Oh, that looks neat. Okay. So we're going to, for our last project today, make shape art. And you guys might need some help with scissors and with making shapes. But first, got to get rid of that baking soda. Okay. So for this, we need these papers. A marker and somewhere I have some string hmm I don't know oh here's my string and we need a glue stick some string and last but not least scissors whatever kind that your uh, family will let you use and parents, if they can't cut out the shapes, maybe you help them with the shapes, but give them some extra paper to practice those scissor skills. Because that's a really important skill for getting into kindergarten and first grade is being able to control scissors. All right. I don't know if you guys can see how shiny that is. I like that shiny red that I used. Okay. So... I'm going to make two circles and since I'm not real good at drawing circles I'm using the bottom of this flower pot that has glue sticks in it let's see I think this will be pretty right here and then I'm going to make two rectangles and I'm going to use this box to make rectangles. It's always a good thing when we use what we have. Alright, and for a square, I am just going to draw a square. It's going to be close. Ooh, I like that square. Look at those colors that are inside that square. And if they're not exact when you glue them together, um, you can trim them to make them 
be just right. Oh, I really like this right here. So I'm going to make a triangle right there. And to try and get them close, I'm just going to do them backwards. All right. So now I'm going to cut out these shapes. This is the part that's fun when you experiment and then you can use your artwork to make things. That is the fun stuff. Okay. Two triangles. Now I'm going to cut out the squares. The first square turned out pretty good. The second one, not so much. All right. Two squares. This is thick paper I use. I'm not talking right now because I'm really having to concentrate for some reason. There, two rectangles. And now circles. <laughs> I didn't do a very good job drawing that circle, did I? That's okay. Nobody ever said we ha all have to be perfect every moment of every day. So when we mess up, we try to figure out a way to fix it. And now you really can't tell that I messed up drawing that circle. All right. Throwing away my trash. Throwing away my trash. All right. Now... I'm going to get some string and let's see how many of these do we have four so I'm gonna make my string long enough that all four of those can fit on it and cut it off now I'm gonna make a loop on one end so that it can hang so I'm just going to tie a knot. Well, we'll do it this way. It's a big people knot, folks. A big people knot. All right. So now I have a loop so it can hang on the wall or on a window. And now I'm going to take my glue stick. Imagine that. There was cat hair on my glue stick. Oh, skitties. And I'm going to glue these, the not painted side, together. And I'm going to put my string in between. So I need glue here and here and down the middle. So the glue doesn't, or so the string doesn't slip out. This part is getting in the way. All right. I don't know if it really helps, but I like to smack my glue. All right. So, look. Look how that turns. I like that a lot. Okay, now I'm going to do the circle next. So on the white side, put your glue, mm -hmm. try to get to the edge so the edges don't curl very much. 
And then put them together. All right. Let's see. I'm going to do the triangles next. Now, remember mm -hmm. my triangles weren't quite the same size, but they're close enough that nobody's even going to notice. And last but not least, the pretty squares. To the edges. Oh, my string wants to get in before it's time. It's ready. All right. All right, I'm, I'm bringing you up so that you can see how cool is that? And it can twist and turn. You could make a bunch of these out of the pages that we did today. So quick and easy. Uh-oh, <gasps> look who's here. Art Kitty's here. She wants to check out what we've been doing. She knows I'm live on Facebook, so she has to show up. All right, so we are pretty much done, but I want to remind you how much fun we had. Except Art Kitty's blocking my way. So the first thing we used a straw. And to make cool designs like that. Then we used baking soda and vinegar to make fizzy paint. And it turned out so cool. I love the fizzy paint. Then we sang about the color wheel. And that blue, red, and yellow are primary colors and that these are the cool colors and these are the warm colors. Then, oh, then we played with cornstarch and water, which if you put pressure on it, it's a solid, but when you release the pressure, it becomes a liquid. So much fun with that. After Facebook Live is over, then I'm just going to sit here and play with my cornstarch and water. When we cleaned up the cornstarch and water mess, then we used leaves to make stencils. You can use all kinds of leaves to do this. And if you mix sidewalk chalk with water and use a sponge, you can do this on sidewalks too. You have to crunch up the chalk so it makes a paint. All right, then we used our blow paint pieces to cut shapes out of and our fizzy paint pieces to cut shapes out of to make this cool piece of artwork. And it moves, and then when we think, when we see it, we can go rectangle, circle, triangle, square. I always love spending time with you guys. <clears throat> this is Miss Jen at the Community Arts Center, <clears throat> who's trying to lose my voice. Thank you to the pollen. And we are keeping the arts alive at the Community Arts Center, and we hope someday soon that you guys will be able to come to the Art Center and take classes with us because that's the fun stuff. All right. So until next time, this is Miss Jen. And always wash your hands. 
always be kind and remember, God bless you. Bye. La, 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 la. Ooh, ooh. I'm having fun.